In this example problem, I'm going to envision what happens if I try to pull the south pole of a magnet out of a loop of wire. Faraday's law of induction says that there should be a voltage produced in the loop and that should therefore introduce a current in the loop, an induced current. The question now is, if we're trying to pull that south pole out of the loop, in which direction will the current flow? As before, we need to envision that the loop of wire is now going to act like a magnet. And this new magnet, it's an imaginary magnet, but this magnet will try to oppose the motion that we are in introducing, namely pulling the south pole out. So we have to picture what kind of magnet would act in such a way as to oppose the, the removal of that south pole. The answer, of course, is to provide an attractive force back toward the loop, and that can be done if we picture that the loop it acts like a bar magnet with its south pole pointing away and its north pole pointing toward the south pole of the real magnet. In this way there would be an attractive force and it would oppose the motion that we're trying to introduce, namely pulling the, bar, the actual bar magnet away. Then we have to imagine what kind of loop of wire and current in that loop would actually produce a north pole that faces to the right in this picture. If we envision again our thumb as pointing along the north pole of a magnet, then our curled around fingers in a right hand rule will wrap in the correct direction to represent the current in that current loop. So in the picture I've shown at the bottom, my thumb is pointing to the right so as to make that north pole facing the actual magnet, and my fingers now start to indicate which direction the current should flow, and that current flows counterclockwise as I look into the loop.